Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. And I'm gonna open three in a row. All three of these I'm gonna open in one video. Why not? They're all linked, all Mandalorian, and they're all gonna go on my Mandalorian shelf, which I'll show you later as well. And they've got no number on them, so they're not gonna be a part of the Quick Shot series, but they are good for what they are. Deluxe sets, I'm on the wide angle camera here. Let me put it onto normal for you. Aha, uh -huh. give you a good look at the uh, front and back of them. Yeah, they are deluxe sets. The only other one I've had so far is that one with Boba Fett with the helmets in it, which are a bit crap as, a, as an accessory, if you don't mind me saying. This is quite good though. I usually don't really do flame effects, but that's pretty cool looking, that one. Um, I'm gonna, as I say, whiz around later and show you what's on my Mandalorian shelf. And I've been holding back on Ahsoka. I've had the other one for ages, the one that comes without the poncho, but I just, I, you know, I wanna see her with a poncho. Got my custom one behind me as well that comes with Ray Allen, Ray Allen Journey's poncho. And there's this guy as well with the E-Web. Nice. And I've got the Navarro Cantina. In fact, I'm just itching to show you what's behind. So if you just bear with me one moment. And here it is. This is just the way it is right now. There's no particular order. I need to rearrange it. And if you want to see my review on that, the the, the, the foundry or whatever you want to call it, the, uh, the forge, then that's all good. And that's also for me in Butler IB3D. Some 3D printed goodness there. And uh, I don't know why he's here. He needs to go Psht, up north. This is my Tatooine shelves if you are new to the channel. And then I just sort of have a shelf dedicated to Navarro as well. But um, yeah, these uh, these will go nicely in that set. Obviously I'm gonna fit this one in somewhere near the cantina and then her somewhere. And then this guy can join the other stormtroopers. And where's my Ahsoka? Bear with me. This is the one I currently have which is a VC-102, which I think is an average figure, but with a poncho on it, Ray Island Journeys, you, we all, I say we all, a lot of us made, or I did anyway, a custom of her. People have put this poncho of Ray Island Journey on that really good one from Mandalorian, the one I just mentioned earlier, the number of which I can't remember, but uh, that doesn't come with a poncho, which is really sad, but this, as I say, this one does. Not this one, I'm just, filming it. This one does, which is good. But this one, as I say, is just good for what it is. Just her standing still and facing away. Speaking of facing away, I really must do that video. I've been meaning to do a video on all the figures that I choose to have facing that away, because they're obviously not good facing forward. I mean, look at her. Not much of a facial sculpt that, is it really? I don't know, it's all right, but... I bet you any money this one looks like Rosario Dawson. Yes, it does. Look at that. Anyway, there you are, enough babble, just a bit of an intro there. I'm gonna get them all open now, and then we're gonna have a look at them all set up one by one. First things first, with the camera now stationary, let's just have a look at the front and the back of these car backs, just soak it in. That's nice. They've mocked up the, uh, what I like to call the Corona sticker. It's my favorite emblem on any form of sticker, although that isn't a sticker, you know what I'm saying. And there you go, look at the E-Web there, brilliant. I do have an E-Web cannon that came from, I think it was the Solo set, it's a, you know, the 5POA line, which I've got somewhere, but anyway, that looks like a proper one, look at that one, brilliant. I don't know if I'll be using that though. Don't really, as I say, I don't like flame effects usually. Don't mind lightning ones, but again, yeah, I like to keep it real. Lightsabers are all right. And then we've got Ahsoka and Grogu here, brilliant. Look at that. So, yeah, again, you know, better with the poncho, have the full set, and this has got something to do with Rebels. If I lose her or something, I don't know. And there's the back. Again, no carded numbers on these, which is handy, which means less pressure on us to keep them carded. We don't want to keep boxed items carded. Thank God they saved the bubble. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. And, oh, look at that Grogu. And there. Look at him. His eyes closed there. And there's a new Grogu that you can get with that set you know the one when he's got the binders on the the rescue set that'll be quite funny alternatives of Grogu there's the front there as I say we'll see what it's like shortly stay tuned I'm going to be opening them and there is the back for you what's on the side there uh -huh, look at that you got a little demo here on the side there's that and then there's there he is I've got him in that pose already bear with me this is the guy I've already opened which is the VC 176 is it or 177 have him with that over his shoulder, which is pretty cool. I'll keep him there, because I might compare him with the other one. So let's have a look at this here. There she is. I love that. Is he talking to you? In a way. Grogu and I can read each other's thoughts. 
read each other's thoughts or something, she says, I don't know. And then here we are, there he is. Some lucky member of the 501st Legion of California or wherever they're from. Got to play the part of the guy holding that e-web. All real people they were, I think, that they used. Right, I'm going to open them up. So bear with me and stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. There she is in there. Slightly different from our man who's wrapped up. Oh, sellotape, sellotape, sellotape. It's plastic. Let's get her out there, man. There's the stormtrooper there. Nice one. And that's there as well. Minimal plastic, I guess. I don't know. There's still sellotape in there, though. Okay, all done. Let's have a look down and see what we've got. So this is the first flame trooper set, whatever you want to call them, incinerate trooper. And we've got a soaker there. And then we've got this storm trooper. So I'm just going to set them all up ready. See what we've got. Alrighty. God, after a load of faffing around, I finally set the whole lot up. So I'm going to give you a look at it now. I'm going to go handheld. Stay there. All right, let's pull back. And it, some of it was a real pain in the ass. But that was hard to set up. And so was so was he. God, so they've got rocker ankles. But man, I wish they'd made the peg holes deeper. She's got, actually surprisingly for a female, usually it's, it's the girls who've got like no peg holes or very shallow because they've got small feet. But hers... Her feet pe peg on better than anybody's. So that was quite good, but this fella was a real struggle just to get him in the sweet spot. If you look on the box art, he hasn't got any you know, support at all. So I don't know if they use cell, um, blue tack or what. But anyway, I've finally got him in that pose there. He's standing, I could, you know, I could have got him to squat a bit more, but anyway, I just wanted his feet on the pegs. And there is the flame effect, which does look really good. And there's Grovey deflecting it. Really good, just knock something over. Uh, I do like it, it's nice. It's the best flame effect I've ever seen. Uh, so it could be good on the shelves that I just put this random one here. Although you can put it behind him or wear it, whatever you want. Foreground, background, force perspective, whatever you want. So that's good. Now then, this uh, thing comes with a generator. That's what it's not knocked down. I think that is a generator, like on the Empire Strikes Back on Endor. There's that owl thing. I didn't want to have it on her shoulder because you didn't see that in The Mandalorian. But it's quite nice. This is, um, I'm going to display her like that without Grogu. Because, well, number one, I've already got one with Grogu, embracing him. I like that. Make use of all the figures I have. I just wanted her looking like she did when we first saw her. And you hear her music. She sort of like is tough, man. The dialogue is really good. She just gives them a, a uh, aggressive negotiation, you know. I'll be back. If you don't free them, then you're in trouble. Kind of thing. I can't remember exactly what she said, but it was good though. And then she disappeared into the mist. So I'm going to have her on my shelf like that. And the Grogu that came with is like that. Obviously a Kuchi Ku kind of figure, which is good. Maybe I might swap that one with this one. So it can be in the arms of that one. That one you can't really tell because as I say, I have her with, my, with her back to us. So that's what she looks like. That's how she's holding him. But from here, you can't really tell that. As long as you can just see Grogu in her arms type thing, it looks all right. She's holding him. And there's that one there. That's the old figure, which is probably the same one, actually. So I'm going to have two flame incinerated troopers now. One primed and ready, and the other one is firing. <laughs> yeah. So there's those. And she looks good, man. I like that. And as I say, her peg holes fit in much better than the other two fellas. And this guy... I just thought I'd put the blaster thing on the end. I do quite like that, actually. I'll take it off as well. It's like an Instagram moment. Maybe have it so it's blurred, so it looks more like fire. No, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> Still, there's the e-web. It wasn't too difficult to put together. Just a bit fiddly. Uh, I've just got the thing going in underneath it. I think that's right. right. Well, the illustration, I don't know what you can see. Well, it looks like it's going into the bottom of the handle. I can't tell. Doesn't matter, whatever, it's connected. And this guy was a nightmare because he really does have a problem with his peg holes. And I 
could have had him sort of squatting down a bit more, holding the gun. Like, I've got this fella holding this one. This is something for me and Butler 3D. Let's put this there. You can't buy that from Hasbro, but Hasbro, you should be making stuff like this. There you go, I've got him firing that gun like that. I might do that with him. I just wanted to show you the trooper. It's a nice stormtrooper, very clean. And yeah, I just, you know, it's more about the gun, isn't it? That's a pro proper e-web. I'm glad I have a proper one. The one from Solo was a bit iffy. And I think it's just over there. Can you see on my shelf, just above the uh, the Razor Crest, you'll see that one there. I think that came out of a, a Solo set. The one that came from the uh, Kessel Run, one of the Kessel Run sets, I don't know, whatever. But this is at least the e-web that you see in the Mandalorian. What does he say? I'll give you till nightfall, by which time the e-web will be... I will instruct the e-web to fire. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's take this out. And there it looks. That's how it looks without it. So they're nice. There's all three of them. I thought I'd box them off in one video. And they are going to go onto my Mandalorian shelves. And I'm good and ready to sort them out. Very nice. So thank you for watching. I have been Only One Kenobi, Only One. If you are new to the channel, please do, uh, of course, subscribe. These are the box arts for the sets. There you are. So that's the Imperial Stormtrooper, Navarro, Ahsoka Tano, and Grogu, and the Incinerator Trooper and Grogu. Very nice. Lots of Grogu's going on there. Thank you for watching. One more time. I have been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.